Hey everybody, it's Chris Ann, Christmas coach and founder of Christmas Organizing, coming to you with an update on my crazy Christmas journey and um, my Christmas dash day two. And I am working on all of my gifts and my gift giving, wrapping gifts, things like that. I have been sorting and organizing and getting all of my gifts ready to wrap tonight. So I've decided that I'm going to put the majority of the wrapping off until tonight. But I do use um, reusable hard boxes. Um, and so they like already have a label on the bottom of whose they are. And so what I do sometimes is I just take the biggest box for a person and put all their gifts in it. And then I come back later and wrap those, but that at least gets them organized and in one place. Now, another thing that um, I've got to work on today is I'm getting gifts ready to send to my father and also to um, some other people that I mail gifts to. And one of the things that I like to do is create a card and or, or even a piece of paper or something um but i have created cards that say i chose this gift for you because all right so i usually give a gift with some purpose in mind so or meaning behind it i guess and um for instance i am giving my father a a uh, set of four or six puzzles, I don't know, it's all together, uh, a puzzle that is of Washington, D.C., of different sites in D.C. One side's black and white, the other side is in color. It's really cool, uh, kind of vintage versus modern. And um, why am I giving him that? Well, I'm going to put on there a, a, a note that states, and now this will be I put the note inside with the gift. So it's inside, so they're not like reading it before they open the gift. Um, I guess you could make it be vague and um, be able to put it on the outside if you wanted to do that. Um, but I put mine on in the inside, so when they open it, they uh, can find it. That may not work for every gift, but if it does, um, that's where I put it. Anyway, the purpose of those Washington, D.C., um, uh, puzzles is because when I was growing up, he lived in the DC area, which, um, allow, you know, and I went, we would go into DC and visit the different monuments and the different museums and things like that. So this is just a reminder of my childhood and, and I'll be telling him about the connections and, and the things that I remember growing up, um, when I would come to visit him and he would take me into DC. So, and then like, <laughs> Um, you know, you, you pick things out for people because they remind you of that person. At least that's, that's what I like to think is that people choose things because they know that you would like it, something you would want some, because of some reason. They just don't go into a store and just blindly go, oh, okay, I'll take this and then go, oh, here you go. Um, that wouldn't be quite as interesting. Maybe some people do but not me. So one of the other things that I'm giving it is a little car coaster. So, you know, this little, um, you know, they're little, uh, oh, the little coasters that go down inside your car cups to absorb the water. And, um, I had, I found one that says, um, don't drive faster than your, uh, guardian angel can fly. And that may seem like a really weird thing for me to give my father, but, and by the way, I can talk about what I'm giving my father because I do not think he has ever watched a video of mine and I doubt that he probably will. Um, so I can openly talk about the uh, gifts on here. I may be wrong. He may be watching them all. Then he knows what he's getting for Christmas. Um, but I don't think so. Anyway, so that coaster is because... Um, when I was growing up, he's always driven fast cars. He loves fast cars. When I was born in 1970, when you didn't have car seats, my mother actually ordered a car seat from Ford 
to put into the car. I think we had a Mustang and to put into the car because she was concerned for my safety as a baby. Um, and so it was a real car seat that, um, that went into the, the car that, um, most people did not do that. So from an early age, I've kind of been, uh, I, when I get in the car with my father, sometimes I pray because it scares me. And I mean, these are things I've told him. He's, he had a Corvette when I was growing up and I would, of course, this is back before you had to put kids in, in seat belts and car seats and all of that. But I would ride in the little compartment in the back. I would lay down. I was probably seven, eight years old. And, um, I can remember laying back there and just praying that we would get home in one piece. Um, so that's why the, um, why that little car coaster has meaning and why I selected it for him. And then for his wife, I got her one that um, is about a llama because they have a llama. And so, you know, so that's kind of what I'm doing. And I'll do a little card and say, this is why I got this for you. So not only am I explaining the gift, but I'm also sharing a memory that I have of growing up or of that person. And so that's, you know, that's something uh, meaningful to me. I am giving some people in my family Chinese checkers and it's a family gift. And why I'm doing that, this is family on my mother's side. And I grew up with my great grandfather um, who died when I was 16, but I learned to play Chinese checkers with him. I'm the oldest great grandchild, and the other grand, the other my other cousins probably do not remember that. Um, they may, but I don't think that all of them do. But I am going to be giving that as a family gift to some of my cousins to play with their families because this was something that I remember about our family and as a um, connection to our great grandfather. And so I will give them a little card and tell them about that and why I'm giving them that gift. Oh, okay. Sorry, getting emotional. Um, I don't want to make this too long. I've got to hop over to Facebook and do my three o'clock, um, um, update for them too. So I will catch you all later. I just want to tell you, my progress here and talk to you a little bit about um, putting a card in or putting a note in that tells people why you gave that gift to them, or why you selected it. All right, if you are not already a subscriber, I please ask you to hit that subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost you a thing, but it means the world to me. And if you are already a subscriber, please hit the like or leave me a comment. You know, do you buy gifts? with a purpose? Do you have a story sometimes behind them? Do you ever share that story with everybody? So that's a really good um, thing to let me know about. Tell me how you do it. All right. I will see you all a little later. Bye.